So we're supposed to be a 12 part series, but we're going to have a bonus. Here's your bonus video. You always got to have a bonus video. This is a bonus video for you. Subscribe to us if you like what we're doing. We'd really like you to do that. We'd also like you to go check out the products that we sell at My Breeder Supply. They're really going to help you. And look, if you're looking for a stud dog or if you're looking for Frenchie puppies, then we might be a candidate for you as well, especially for the stud dogs. All right. Tan points. I want to talk about tan points because I didn't really cover it really well here. And with a lot of us, I mean, I'd really like tan pointed dogs. And so how do you get tan points? So there is um, black and tans. Blue and tans. Chocolate and tans. Lilac and tans. And <laughs> I'll keep on going here. Merle and tans. And you can have a platinum and tan or a cream and tan. Except that this one here, you're not going to see the tan points because it gets covered up by the cream. So I'm going to take that one off the table. Um, I think the interesting ones, I mean, they're all very interesting. Don't get me wrong here. But how do you produce a black and tan? So the answer is, is you've got to have a dog that is not blue, that is not chocolate, that is not brindle, that is, that is either ATA or ATAT. -AT. So this dog has to be, it cannot have, it's got to be no blue, non-blue or chocolate. You cannot have those two genes. You can have carries of it, but it cannot be blue. It can't be a little d, little d, or little b, little b dog. If it's not that, and it doesn't have brindle, so it's K-N, K-N, and it is either A-T-A or A-T-A-T, -A -T, that will be a black and tan. That's how you make a black and tan. On all of these dogs, all of these, if you have brindle present, you will muck up the tan points where they'll get muddled up a dog that is a blue and tan that carries brindle will have, won't have a clearly defined markings on its feet. They'll be muddled up and kind of a mottled look. So you can tell a dog that is a ATAT -AT or an ATA -AT with a copy of brindle because you'll see that its tan points are not clear. And it'll probably have some brindling elsewhere on its body. So that was the black and tan. How do you make a blue and tan? Well, it's got to be a DD and it has to be either again an ATA or an ATAT. -AT. That gets you a blue dog. A chocolate dog, little b, little b, or little co, little co, or both. And again, it's got to have ATA or AT. And the same thing for the Merle. You've got to have a dog that is that is uh, MM, and then it's got to have to have ATA or ATAT to make a Merle dog. So that's how you make your tan points. Um, uh, and again, uh, if you add a copy of cream, one copy of cream, it makes the tan points pop much better. If you have two copies of cream, the dog becomes a cream dog and you've lost the tan points because the dog just looks the same color all the, all the way over. Um, yeah, I think that's probably the end of your bonus part. I think we'll just quickly talk about the A gene. I like dogs with a double A gene. Let's talk about that for a second as part of this last part of this whole video. So we talked about there's two ways to get tan points. <clears throat> and the two ways to get tan points is you either have a dog that's A-T-A-T, -A -T, or you can have a dog that is A-T-A. -A. Those both produce 10 points. I like a dog that is A-T-A, -A because you can do all kinds of things with it. So let's just look at a Punnett square. We've got an A-T-A -A dog, the one that I said I liked. We put that with an A-T-A-T -A -T dog. What do we get? We get a tan pointed dog, half of them are ATATs, and half of them are ATAs. They're still tan pointed dogs. So that's great. We didn't, we didn't lose anything by that. If you put an AT dog, whoops, I can grab this towel up here. If you put the same dog with another dog that's ATA, what do you get? Well, you get an ATA dog. And you get an AA dog here, you get an AA dog here. So what do you get? Well, you still get your tan pointed dogs. You get an ATAT, ATAs, ATAs, tan pointed dogs. You now get an AA dog. 
That's a double recessive, and that makes this beautiful solid coat. I like that dog a lot. I like AA dogs. So let's go back and make this an AA dog, and what can you do with an AA dog? So let's just pretend this is now an AA dog. You kept that dog. What can you do with that dog? Why do you like that dog? Well, if you put it with an ATAT -AT dog, you get all ATAs. They're all 10 pointer dogs. Great. So that's what you get. If you put that dog with an ATA dog, then this bottom rung becomes AA dogs. So you get a litter of hard 10 points and hard solid cost. I like I liked double A recessive dogs because you could do a lot with them. I like ATA dogs too, and I like AT80 dogs, but I really like dogs that has a recessive black in there because it gives you some variation on colours. That was it. We just run you through 13 videos. For those of you who stuck with me till the end, thank you very much. Please subscribe to us and be nice to your doggies. Bye, everybody.